Michigan. Well, yesterday I had uh, done a wonderful two sheet wonder and I decided I wanted to use the extra or leftover and get involved with Kylie and Bruno Pertucci's scrappy strip technique. Now say that quickly, right? So I'm just going to show you how to do a one sheet wonder and then I'm going to leave a link so that you can be part of this challenge. Uh, the challenge ends May 1st and there's an area where you can go and link all the pictures that you do for any of these uh, scrappy techniques, okay? Um, Bruno started this uh, phenomenon and it's been going all over the internet. It's a lot of fun and it's a great way to use some leftover uh, leftover uh, paper. So what I'm going to show you today is just get a five and a quarter times four. Okay, that's all you need if you're going to do a uh, one sheet wonder today. All right. What I did is I put all of my, uh, the, the stamps that I wanted to use, I put them all together. I thought let's just make it really easy. And then some of the leftovers I'm going to use uh, my helm and then I'm going to put it in different areas. But for fun, you know, you're only doing a small little area, and uh, if you don't like the way it turns out, just turn the paper over, right? <laughs> turn that paper over. So, you know, I had the leftover from yesterday when I did the uh, home, sailing home, and this is from the sailing home still, okay? So it's an easy, fun, fun set to use. Now I'm using blueberry bushel, and I'm just going to... I'm gonna go off the I'm gonna go off the grid a little bit all right because we're gonna do it a couple times so let's move that up and we're not gonna do all of this we're just gonna do a little bit like right here perfect and that's yeah look at that <laughs> gosh we'll be done in a second and I'm going to use Knight of Navy for my cardstock today. And I am just using, it makes it so, so much quicker. You know, you can put these wherever you want. They don't have to be in any order, uh, you know. And I'm just going to probably, let's just do this one here. And the reason is I'm going to use that helm for another area. And... Remember, we're going to cut all this up into a, a nice little strip, okay? So it's not going to be what you see here. I'm just going to print this one out here. Oh, this was easy. Look at that! And you can even even go over it if you don't like that. You can just go, go right over and see what happens, you know? That, that would be cool, too. I'm going to use this group right here. All right. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, so we're done with this group. There was uh, five stamps on that. Made it real easy. I'm going to use the helm, all right, uh, because I've got the rope. I've got enough of the rope on there. I've got the anchor. Um, I have the uh, sailboats, both of them. So this is the only little guy that I have not used. So we're just going to go in the corner a little bit, okay? Um, and it can go over some of the areas that you've already done. So this is kind of like filling in the areas. Um, and you don't have to use uh, the sailing home. You can use another, anything you want to use. Um, and that's perfect. We're done. See? Oh my gosh. That took like two seconds, right? Now, what's going to be fun as you see that strippy, I used one, two, three, four, five, and then kind of a six. So I can make these one, two, three, four, five, and then make them a little bit wider. So that's what we'll do. We'll try to do five on that one. Before okay. we cut, let's add one more stamp, and that's the, the seagulls. Um, I think that'll add a little bit of spice when we're cutting this up. So it doesn't matter where you want to put it. And I did sneak and put a two sheet. <laughs> I thought, what the heck, you know, in case I don't like it, I've got the other side. So I'm just going to kind of put this all over. 
and do a second generation if you want. And I'm really liking this side, so I'm gonna probably use this side. But isn't that easy? And we're going to just do a one, sh one sheet or two sheet wonder, depending on what you did. And we're just gonna cut it like, like uh, strips, exactly what they're doing, except we're not using any designer paper. We made our designer paper. So I'm gonna do this one on an angle. Put this little guy right over here. And I think I'm gonna do about four, I think. We'll see. That's two. And let's do it this way. I'm just doing it on angles, and really, whatever way you want to do it is good, good with me. Three. And remember, you only used one small paper, you know, the five and a quarter times four. So that was easy, right? Okay. I've got my guys already done. Simple. Hopefully they are exactly where I want them. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just to make this so simple, I have it Knight of Navy already. I'm just going to give it a nice bone fold. There we go. Okay, what I really like about the Knight of Navy, it really shows off the blue. And what I like to do first is I like to give it an, an idea of where is it going to be located and put to put so I am not going to go crazy and that I know it's a, the exact one because remember I did it on the other side too and I don't want to get confused so I'm going to match those birds up with the helm and that looks great all right this one here should go right here and again I'm going to make them a little bit lower um, and then this little guy last but not least is this the last one? Yeah. Okay. And it's really cool. If you don't re recall which, which way it goes where, you know. Now, I have an area that I think I would like to trim just a little bit so that this all sits. So always leave the last one kind of straight. So if you have to take off a little bit, that's okay. And I just eyeball it. Okay. And because the reason you're going to have to take off some is because we are putting in between each area, we're going to have a space so you can see the blue. All right. So, so far, that looks pretty darn cool. Don't you think? I think so. All right, let me get the uh, snail and we'll start gluing it down. Okay, we finished gluing all of it down and this was our last one. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? And it's nice and spaced out so you can see the Knight of Navy. I think that looks darling. Now, I already uh, punched this out. I, I used some extra Whisper White and just stamped uh, to my heart's content. Uh, but I'm going to put something over this, another, uh, so it's going to be a double layer for um, a really nice uh, sentiment. So we're going to hold off on that. We've got our blueberry bushel. Yay. And this is, this set here is a leftover from my Come Sail Away Memory and More card pack. So let's use some of that stuff up, right? I'm going to use the blue one. Perfect. One thing about this, it looks antique -y and it looks like it's washed. So I really like that look uh, when you're doing anything that deals with boats. <laughs> okay, right? the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some dimensionals on here. This is already sticky, so you really want to, I want to raise it. That's the way I like to have it done. So I'm going to center this in my little fancy little... one sheet wonder here that I did, or two sheet because it's on both sides. That looks good. And you know, just play around with it. You know, if you don't like it, it's still, it's not in glue yet. So just kind of center it. I know it looks like it's perfect and then it's not. Okay, leave it alone. <laughs> so 
I love this. I think it looks it's like watching glue dry, so I kind of like to speed it up with the dimensionals. So I have the two layer, all right? I'm going to put it right smack in the middle. All right, perfect. I'm loving that. And I'm going to use, I'm definitely gonna use some of the boats, cell boats here. And you might just wanna play around. If you've got this, the set, you can just play around with it. Um, I'm going to probably pop that up a little bit just because it does have um, sticky on it, which is perfect. And I can just put a little dimensional underneath it. But actually, that looks perfect. I know, doesn't that look great? Look at that. Look at that. And see how quick that was? I mean, that was pretty quick. That was real quick. Um, Let's put them on the seagulls instead. What a great idea. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah. It doesn't, you know, about five of them maybe. These are really tiny, so uh, I think the seagulls would be perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not going to put them in between the blue just because you don't need to. And look at that. Look how pretty these came out. So I'm going to have the links for um, Bruno Pertucci's uh, scrappy t uh, technique so you can get an idea of how to do it. Um, I just wanted to show you using a two sheet wonder of how to do it and same idea but it's your own designer paper. <laughs> and then I'll have another link for Kylie's. Uh, she has uh, places to, to post this and information of how to post yours. So you got till May 1st, okay? So anyway, enjoy. I hope you have a great week and a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Be safe, all right? Chat soon.